So until now, the best way to build a new project with Webpack is to run the Webpack dev server for local development. Its turnkey solution to hot reloading is fantastic. But what exactly is the Webpack dev server? In this episode, we'll rebuild it from the ground up using an express server and middleware. A custom node server like Express or Koa can give us flexibility to add further optimizations and customizations. We're going to begin right where we left off in the last episode. Now we're going to remake the dev server as part of a larger plan for our web server. This step is crucial to the rest of the course. It's time to graduate from the pre-made binary to gain more control over our stack. We'll start by adding Express. So in our terminal, npm install Express. Now we're going to make a server directory inside our source directory. Now let's create two files within source server, main.js and express.js. Now in package.json, we're going to want to add another script. We're going to call this one dev. Dev is going to run our main.js file inside of our server directory with node. Now inside main.js, let's require Babel register. Now this library tells Babel to transpile everything after it using the Babel rules we've set up in Babel RC. In this case, we're going to want Babel to transpile our express.js file. Okay. Last, let's get into express. In the ES6 syntax, we're going to import Express from the Express package we just installed. We're also going to import Path from the Path project that comes with Node. Now let's create a simple server. Now we can call Listen, give it a port, and then give it a function to run after the server has started. Let's just say server is listening for right now. So if we npm run dev, we get server is listening. When we go to our browser, we see that when we reload, we have a response. But because Express has no routes set up, it throws an error. What we want to happen is we want Express to serve from the dist folder, specifically index.html. To do that, we need to add a piece of middleware. Express exposes a static function. It takes one argument, the root of our web server. The only thing we need to do now is tell Express to use it. All right, now let's reload the web server. Back in our browser, we see that it's pulling in the index, the image, and the main bundle. This is almost usable in production as is. But in development, we want the same live reloading experience in Express that we had in the Webpack dev server. So let's add that middleware right next to the static middleware. Now in the terminal, let's install Webpack dev middleware. Now in Express.js, above the static middleware, let's add that. First, we're going to grab Webpack from the npm package. Next, we're going to grab our config file from the config directory. Now with both of those, we can create a compiler. The webpack function takes one argument, the configuration, and it returns a compiler. We can use that compiler with our middleware. So let's set that up. Webpack dev middleware. pulling the package, and immediately invoking the function. This function takes two arguments, the compiler and a piece of our config. 
the dev server part of the config. If we look at our config, we see the dev server is right here. And since the whole config is just an object, we can treat it like one. So we've set up a piece of middleware. Now all we need to do is tell Express to use it. Server use Webpack Dev Middleware. All right, let's go back to the terminal and run npm run dev again. We can see it outputs the compiled information just like the Webpack Dev server does. But we're missing the color. That's one more option in our dev server. If we add stats, we do colors true. Now when we rerun it, we see that we have the same colors we had before. Cool. So let's give that a try. So in main CSS, let's change a piece of CSS. We can see that it recompiles in the terminal. But it doesn't change anything in the browser unless you reload. We want the automatic reloading we had in the Webpack dev server. So for that, we need one more piece of middleware. So back in our terminal, let's npm install webpack hot middleware. Now back in Express, we're going to do something similar. Webpack hot middleware equals, and we'll just pull it right from the node package. and invoke the function, passing it the compiler. Now let's tell Express to use it. The trick is you need to tell it to use Webpack Hot Middleware after Webpack Dev Middleware, but before the static middleware. So it uses it in order. Our Webpack config needs a couple of additions. First, we're going to grab Webpack. Secondly, we're going to add hot true to the dev server options. Finally, under module, we're going to add some plugins. Now, we'll get more into plugins later, but for now, Let's just add a couple of plugins from Webpack. Hot module replacement plugin. Okay, so if I didn't misspell anything, this should work. npm run dev. Looks like I misspelled middleware. Oh, there it is. The last thing we need is inside of our main JS on the client side, we're going to add a library after Babel runtime. Require webpack hot middleware client. This piece of JavaScript is sent down to the client to set up the WebSocket connection. All right, let's give it a shot. Now you can see the code has been added. Let's make a change again. Back to gray, switches back to gray, to red, red. Now you notice the index.html isn't hot reloading like we'd like. We can see that when we change it, we're receiving new information. It's being compiled and sent down. But because index.html is not a piece of JavaScript or CSS, it's not going to behave in the same way. Turns out there's actually a really easy fix for this, but we're going to have to get into it in the next episode. In this episode, we traded the off-the-shelf Webpack dev server for a custom Express dev server. In so doing, we basically dissected how the command line tool does it. This code is basically what's inside Webpack dev server itself. Now our goal is, as always, to create an incredible developer experience. And in the next episode, we'll work on the server side to finish up our hot reloading effort. See you there.